So I ordered these off Amazon. I see them all over the internet actually. They are fake knockoff Hitachi capacitors from what I've gathered. Um, you know, which I don't care. I don't care if they're fake or knockoff as long as they have a capacitance somewhere near 22,000 microfarads and, you know, can reach around 80 volts DC. Um, but that wasn't the case. I put exactly 71, my, my peak voltage DC was 71.6 volts. I measured before and after just to make sure and she, she blew up like a steam boiler. It was quite an epic little, well, not really an epic explosion. Just a bunch of oil came flying out of here. But my wire started sagging and I should have shut it down because it just didn't register in my head fast enough you know if your wires moving that's because it's from heat and uh this is just speaker wire which would have been fine for testing in this application you know you don't really need big grizzly wire to run these but what happened is is the voltage whatever the real voltage rating of this is is way lower than 80 volts um and and it was basically it created an open short circuit inside this uh, piece of shit capacitor so you know buyer beware these they all look the same and from what I've gathered online from different sources if you google uh, fake Hitachi capacitors you'll see them you know there's a few articles there's not too much on it but you know just look out for these if you're ordering them if it seems a little too good to be true it, it is they look just like this, and I guess the real deal, they don't even make these values, or from what I read real quickly, but yeah, it makes sense now that I tested it. If you do have one of these, um, you know, it's hit and miss with people. They do work, I guess, on some audio applications, low voltage, don't exceed your voltage. Um... But one I am really impressed with, actually, is this one. Or these, I picked up a couple of these. These are massive off eBay for 25 bucks. I think somebody backdoored them out the factory or something because they were extremely cheap for that price. And these, these are amazing for my welder. They work really, really well, actually. The real deal, I think. If they're knockoffs, they're really, really good knockoffs. Um... I don't run them above 63 volts, which they probably could handle a little, you know, over voltage, but I, I don't want to try because they're just too big and nice and, you know, I don't want to mess them up. But yeah, buyer beware. Avoid these. Um, and if I've had good luck with these type, I don't know, you can barely see that because I have them taped together. But these are cheap on eBay, and these are really good. I forget what brand they are. But you can parallel these up, you know, and they take a lot of abuse. So if you are looking for good, cheap capacitors, KMH, I think that's the brand. I don't know. These are all over eBay and uh, Amazon, too, and they're, they're really good. So that's my little, um, you know, warning on this capacitor and, and a little information on these other capacitors that I've been trying out. Good luck. Happy hunting.